Hey guys, this video is going to go over similar figures and using proportions to find missing sides in similar figures. All right, so the first thing we're going to talk about is just a quick refresher on what a proportion is. So a proportion, a proportion is a statement that says two ratios are equal. So remember, a ratio is like something like this. If I said there was five girls for every four boys, that's a ratio. Usually you write it as a fraction or you write it with the two dots or you write it with the word two, so five to four. So a proportion is a statement that says that I have, if I have two ratios, that they're equal. So whatever I have in my first ratio, it's going to be equal to my second ratio. So that's a proportion. When we set up a proportion, it always looks like this. All right, for something to be proportional, it has to be changing at a linear rate or a constant rate, um, and it has to have that constant multiplier. So an example of that would be, maybe I say um, every t-shirt costs $10, so it's $10 per t-shirt. That's the multiplier. If I tried to write the equation to give the total cost, it'd be y equals 10x, $10 per t-shirt, plus zero, no extra charge. Um, so for it to be proportional, it must have this multiplier or the constant rate, okay? Um, so this one would be proportional. So last year in seventh grade, we learned that if you have similar figures, their sides are going to be proportional, the ratio of their sides. So maybe I say that this one is 10 and this is five, and this is eight, and this is four. If I write a ratio of their sides, so 10 to five, that should be equal to the ratio of the other sides, eight to four. And I do know that's true, 10 over five is two, and so is eight over four. So we know that similar figures um, are proportional. Their side lengths are proportional. All right, so one way to test if figures are similar are to take the ratio of their sides and see if they're equal. So I could take this side, it corresponds to this side. So I'm going to write, write a ratio of corresponding sides, so 6 to 3. All right, then I'm going to take this side, 4, it corresponds to 2. So I'll write that as a ratio, 4 to 2. And then my last side, 8, corresponds to 4, 8 over 4. Now, if you divide all of those out, 6 divided by 3 is 2, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 8 divided by 4 is 2, they all have the same ratio of sides. They're all equal. So I know that these are similar. So I could say, yes, these are similar. The side, their side lengths are proportional. All right, because I know um, that these two figures are similar, I'm going to tell you, yes, they're similar, I can use what I know about similar figures to solve for the missing side using a proportion. Okay, so we've done this in the past, so I'm going to go through it pretty quickly. So first thing I always do is take um, two sides that correspond. So 33 corresponds to 11 in the smaller figure. So I'll do 33 over 11. That's the ratio of those two sides. And then I'm going to go to this one. I'll do 39 corresponds to x. So 39 corresponds to x. And I know because they are, these are similar figures, the ratio of their two side lengths should be equal. Okay, so I set that up and now I'm going to use a proportion to solve it. So if you have your calculator, you can go ahead and grab that and you are going to do 33 times x, which is 33x equals 11 times 39 which is 429. Then you have one more step here. You're going to divide by 33. Divide by 33. So on the first side, we just end up with x equals and then 13. So that missing side length is 13 centimeters. And I just solved that using proportional reasoning. All right, let's take a look at another one. So I'll tell you that these two similars are, or these two shapes are similar. So I want to try to find the missing side, and let's try to find the missing side, z. All right, so first thing I want to do is find two sides that correspond um, that I know both values for. So like in this big shape, I know that this side is 35, and in the little shape, it corresponds with 14. So I'm going to set that up as a ratio of the big shape to the small shape, okay, corresponding sides. Now, in similar figures, I know that the ratios of corresponding sides are equal. So I'll put my equal sign and I'm going to pick the two sides I'm trying to find. So z corresponds to 8, and I did big to small. So here, the big side to the small side. Okay, and now I'm just going to cross multiply and divide like we've done plenty of times. So 14 times z is 14z, and 35 times 8 is 280. And then my last step is to divide by 14. So I'll do 280 divided by 14, and I end up with z equals 20. All right, at this time, I'd like you to pause the video and try to solve for y. All 
All right, so in this next, next problem, I am trying to find this distance right here from my house to the stoplight. I'm gonna try to find that first. So looking at this, I see two different triangles. I see this orange triangle that I'm gonna trace, and I see this pink triangle. And they don't tell us that they're, they're similar, but they are similar, similar because of some different rules that um, we're going to learn later in the year with angles and triangles. But one thing you might notice is that these angles, these are called vertical angles. They're straight across from each other and they're equal. And then there's other angles that we can tell too by using some things that we'll learn later in the year. So these are similar. Okay, so we're gonna see if we can match up some different sides, some corresponding sides. So I know eight in the big one corresponds to four in the small one. So I'm gonna write that as a ratio of the big triangle to the small triangle. Since these are similar figures, I can set up a proportion. It's gonna be equal to the ratio of lengths in the smaller, or the other ratio of lengths, which is D matches up with five. Those are corresponding. So I'm gonna go, the big one was D, the small one was five. Okay, now I'm gonna cross multiply. I know four times D is four D, and then eight times five is 40, and then I will divide by four. So D ends up being 10 meters. Okay, so now if I actually read the question that's on here, it says, can you find the distance from the house to the park? Well, this length is 10 meters plus another five meters. So the total distance from the house to the park is 15 meters. All right, this next picture looks a little bit more difficult. So if you look at this, I want you to kind of look and see how many triangles do you see? All right, to help us figure that out, I'm going to actually trace over two triangles that I see. I just want you to kind of watch. So I see this big triangle, okay? I also see this little triangle inside there. So what I want you to do is draw both of those out. So I'll start with the big one. The big one is that whole thing. Okay, again, I'm just gonna kind of trace the big one in green. Okay, I'm gonna look and find the lengths that I know then. I know this side of the big one is X, so I'll label that, right angle there. And then the bottom, I know that whole thing is 10. It shows that down there. Okay, now I'm gonna trace the smaller triangle in pink. So I'm tracing that right there. Now I'm gonna come draw that out right here. Okay, so I know the one side is four, this side right here, and the bottom it says is six. All right, these are similar triangles, and I know that because they share an angle, they share this angle, they both have right angles. So you'll learn more about that when we learn about triangles, but these are similar. So now I'm going to try to set up a proportion to solve for the missing side. So I know these are similar, so I can set up a proportion. So I know 10 in the big one matches up with six in the small one. So 10 over six, there's the ratio of those sides. And then X in the big one matches up with four in the small one, or corresponds. Okay, so now I'm gonna solve my proportion. Six times X is six X, and then 10 times four is 40, and then I'm going to divide by six. So 40 divided by six, if I type that in, ends up being, 6.6 um, .6 repeating, or the fraction for that is 6 and 2 thirds. So that's how long side X is. All right, we'll go over some more examples of similar figures and proportions tomorrow in class. Um, so be ready to ask any questions that you have then.